might go. Why why is it so exciting um, to have hydrogen sort of come on the on the scene now and to speculate a little bit? Like what what impact do you think this possibly could have? I think, I think this is one of the most amazing and important discoveries that science has come across because hydrogen appears to be so simple, so easy, so easily acceptable and have so many benefits. And I just have to echo, you know, the words of a of a review article in Free Radical Research where where they where the author said, it is not an overstatement to say that hydrogen's impact on the therapeutic and preventive medicine could be enormous in the future. That's where I see it. I mean we have, you know, lots of different studies with, you know, things like metabolic syndrome, um, hypercholesterolemia type things, dyslipidemia, high blood glucose levels, uh, all, all these types of things where hydrogen is showing to help, helping to potentiate the action of insulin, helping to translocate GLUT4 transporters to lower glucose levels, um, you know, helping to regulate, you know, cholesterol and fatty acid uptake. You know, there, there, it, it's, it's very um, significant and in fact, um, hydrogen is appears to be a novel signaling molecule, you know, actually can alter the the cell metabolism type thing, and we're we're just working hard right now to find the actual primary targets of where hydrogen is actually binding to. And personally, and I know others research as well believe that when those targets are actually found, hydrogen gas is going to be subject to a Nobel Prize. It, it is a big deal and it's very exciting to the air, to the area of us scientists. I mean, exciting to the area of scientists but I mean I wouldn't be on air uh, to try and you know excite scientists. For me it's exciting because it actually works and um, I've been using it you know, over the last uh, two, three months and in a, in, a, in a tablet form that I came across um, through a friend and you know he said give give it a try and I spoke to a natural medicine doctor who'd been using it it, it sounded worth worth uh, giving a try it sounded safe um, so I tried it and it's it's been you know a, a remarkable experience it's the biggest thing I can say it's not like caffeine it's not like um, you know it doesn't give you any major kind of buzz what it does is it makes you feel normal uh, after doing things that you shouldn't feel normal so, like, if you do really high lactate work or, you know, high volume of gym work, where in the past I would have probably had some kind of a hangover feeling, like after really hitting the gym hard and, um, you know, some central fatigue that just takes some time to, to, to get rid of, it just doesn't seem to hang around like it, like it should with this molecular hydrogen. And to be honest, I've been doing training that just doesn't make any sense. Like, uh, I'm training harder with heavier weights and more consistently than at any time in my life. Like even when I was, you know, early 20s or late teens and I was training, I couldn't handle what I'm doing at the moment. So it's pretty pretty weird but also pretty exciting. And, you know, thinking about the implications of this for sports um, and people who want to just go to the gym and be healthy and, and also, you know, for people who are dealing with health issues that might be improved by it, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really exciting. And, um, you know, whenever we sort of talk about this stuff, people are – obviously going to be somewhat skeptical like who's making the money why isn't uh, why isn't this stuff really you know mainstream if it's got potential for you know helping things like diabetes you know everyone's got diabetes just about now like it's becoming so common for people to have issues with blood sugar um, but I guess what it comes back to like can, can you patent molecular hydrogen you can't patent hydrogen itself no but I mean People are trying to patent, you know, different, uh, you know, methods of producing hydrogen. You know that that can be patented, yeah. Um, but but yeah, you know, it's it's not going to be mainstream until it becomes mainstream. I mean, it it takes time. You know, there's yeah, we have hundreds of studies showing this stuff, but you know, it takes time. Um, but right now, like yourself. Many many people are trying these products, and they're experiencing, you know, amazing benefits. It makes sense. There, there's an actual physiological and biochemical mechanism for for hydrogen, and and some of the things that you explained about being able to train harder, train longer, um, that kind of stuff. There's rationale for that with some of these studies that show, uh, you know, how when you train 
really hard and you start getting into overtraining, you know, have a release of lots of uh, you know, pro-inflammatory cytokines and, and whatnot. Well, hydrogen has been shown to uh, decrease pro-inflammatory cytokines as well as to actually increase a, uh, anti, anti-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 10. So there is, re, you know, rationale for, for a lot of the results that people claim they're receiving on these, these uh, hydrogen supplements.